are the open surgical and endovascular approaches. From your point of view, what is the golden standard nowadays? It's impossible to reply and I think that there is no gold standard nowadays. This debate will be the main focus of the next EVC Congress. Of course, when it's possible, the endovascular approach is less aggressive and must be the first choice, but frequently it's impossible or unsuccessful, and in these frequent cases, venous bypass still remains the gold standard. Endoscopic vein harvesting for vascular reconstruction is a promising concept for the vascular surgeon. Why? Because the vascular surgeon needs vein in most cases for reconstruction for critical limb ischemia. In this case, patients are frequently old, diabetics, women, or factors to have wound healing problems. Endoscopic valve harvesting is probably a new tool uh, which allows us to decrease the number of skin complications after this kind of procedure. Can you outline the general principle of the procedure? The principle of the procedure is to have only one or two small incisions on the lower limb and to uh, dissect uh, the uh, saphenous vein from the surrounding tissues then uh, to cut the uh, collaterals with a specific electric bipolar uh, tool and to cut the distal end of the venous graft uh, with another specific tool like a loop to cut uh, by a subcutaneous tunnel uh, the vein uh, 20 or 30 centimeters uh, far away from the skin incision. What is the place of EVH in daily vascular surgery? If the results are uh, as high as uh, we imagine, uh, it can become a daily tool for all uh, venous bypass. Do you believe, uh, Professor Branchereau, that EVH combined with classical open surgery will become daily practice? Absolutely, yes. If uh, the EVH, if this uh, new tool, works as we can imagine it works, uh, it will uh, become one of the daily tools to perform the distal venous bypass.